Hey, what's going on, guys? Before this video starts, I just want to let you know I do have a code in the description. Uh, if, you, if you click it, you get to a broker that gives you actually two free stocks. Sometimes it's 10, depending on the season. Um, so feel free to click that for some free stocks. And I also have a Transpirator referral link in the description below, and you can use this charting platform, and I think it's pretty clean. It's a very good platform. You can strategy test, you can see option flow, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So make sure to click that link if you're interested in getting it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I chart and or how to chart a chart. Um, it's pretty simple. I've gone over a lot of things in my videos, but uh, I'm going to make this very short and simple. So the first thing I do is I go to the daily time frame, and this is where I like to look for important levels like gaps um, and other levels that have been retested or retested and tested a lot. So the first thing that I actually do see on this chart, let me delete this real quick. The first thing that I do see on this chart is I see a gap right here. So uh, if you don't know, gaps are used as support and resistance, so this would be support, this line right here, this would be um, also support or resistance um, because they're interchangeable. So I would take this horizontal line right here um, and I would draw it, uh, let's see, so see how it's kind of respected, it's respected here, it's respected on this wick, it's respected right here, it's respected for right here. So I'm actually going to draw this back a little bit and just put this like that, so that's going to be our first level. Um, and the second level is the other gap so right here and if we look back a little bit and we see the levels right here based off the wick um, it's kind of respected but I don't think it's respected enough it kind of just chops through it over here so I would only draw it up to here because as you can see these two levels definitely do respect this so I would do it right to here um, so yeah um, so now that we have two, those two levels though, for the gaps uh, we noticed that we actually cut through the gap and then we bounce back up again um, and a lot of times the market does this to get liquidity um, and you want to remember you're trying to get to a certain destination you, you, you don't want to stop off the train halfway through right so right now my target would be this 158 to 160 level uh, because gaps usually do fill um, so that's an important level I'm going to be watching. And if we look, let's I'm just going to chart some other important levels real quick. So let's look for a few more. So we see this, and then we see this, and then we see this. These three levels are respected pretty well, I would say. Um, let's draw it like right here. And it's respected over here. So let's draw this level. So look, reject, reject. Uh, we kind of have a bounce a little bit. It, it, as you can see, it gaps down though. So if it didn't get down, this could have definitely balanced. Um, and again, we see reject here, so that's an important level. And then you could also argue there's probably a level, um, let's see, where's another level? Uh, maybe right here, look, bounce, bounce, bounce. Um, so maybe right there it could be level. So you're just gonna wanna find major levels that are being respected a lot, and I could definitely pull this back here to this point because this would respect a decent amount. So you just wanna look for levels that are respected a lot, and you can see reject here, and then reject here, bounce down. So that's how I chart my levels usually. Um, and the second thing I do is I look for trend lines. So um, there's not a ton of obvious trend lines in here. The only obvious ones I see are, are this channel and this channel. So as you can see, there's like a resistance trend line going down here and a support going down here. So I'm just going to take my support channel real quick and I'm just going to try to draw what I'm seeing right now. So it kind of respects there. So you get a bounce here, bounce there, bounce there, bounce there, bounce there. So this trend line is being respected a little um, they're pretty good right there. And then I'm just going to draw the resistance channel um, right here. So we see this is respected multiple times up here. Reject, 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 reject. And yeah, so um, that is kind of the basics of what I look for. I look for trend lines like these channels and then I look for major levels. And another thing you could also do is you could use fibs instead of levels. So you could mark it from the swing high to swing low. So if I put a fib right here, off of this swing low to this swing high, it would be like this. And you can see if any levels match up. So as you guys can see, it gets down to the 61. It bounces off initially off this point 61. That would have been a play to get in. Fibs usually do bounce off the point 61. Um, and retraces. And once it makes this higher low, 
once it makes this or lower high I mean once it makes this lower high you could draw a fib from the top since it's in the downtrend to the swing low right here um, once you see this higher low being created and then you could have taken the 0.61 uh, rejection perfectly off of this so that would have been a nice play um, so yeah that's basically the the like that is charting in a nutshell um, there's not a lot of other things that I do I like to keep it simple um, another thing you could do is you could you could chart some indicators so say I turn on like MACD or something um, or I turn on or I turn on the um, RSI you can see every time that it hits the top of the channel you can see where the RSI is so when it hits up here it's at about 67 when it hits up here it's at about 66 and then again here it's it's pretty high it's at a 66 again but then here um, we see it's at 60 but this would make sense because this is lower than here so that would definitely make sense so this means this is a healthy trend right here so um, you can do a lot of things you can chart indicators you can just chart levels I like to chart levels and major trend lines um, so that's kinda that's kinda me so let's go to one more example so if I go to the spy chart um, one level that I have been looking at is the one trend line that I have been looking at is um, let me delete this real quick uh, is actually in the weekly I think yeah so this is the level that this is a trend line that I drew actually in the weekly and you don't need that giant thing you just draw from here to there see how one two three four so as you can see we f fell below this major trend line which is not good at all and if it closes like this on Friday that will not be good um, we'll probably go down a lot further and this is where I, I like to chart fib so I draw from the swing low to swing high and if we do that, um, it, I see we're cutting through this 0.236 fib. The next fib I would expect to go to is this 0.382 fib uh, down here at 380 from COVID lows to um, relative highs. So uh, that's definitely level I'd want to have for my chart at 380. If we do fall down here, um, this is where I'd be looking for a bounce. So you don't need to keep this fib up all the time, but now that I deleted the fib you can now put a level like at 380 just because you know it's a fib and if I do that I do this and then I do 38.2 fib um, so I just I know what the level is right because they could just be some random level on the chart so yeah that's basically how to chart um, I chart all kinds of time frames I chart supply and demand on the one hour usually so I'll go to the one hour and I see this is a clear supply zone right here see the sell off from the zone so I'll draw a supply zone right here and it's a little bit of a demand zone up here so um, and I just keep these on my time frame throughout the day and when I see price get to these levels I kind of see how it reacts and if I see like a big rejection candle like this that's that might be when I enter puts um, so yeah um, hope you guys learned something if you did uh, make sure to leave a like drop a sub drop a comment um, let me know what other videos I should go over next um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed and peace out